I'm Dr. Robert Anderson, and I'd like to talk a little bit about the impact of age on fertility. I think it's quite common knowledge that as a woman ages, her fertility potential declines. For a long time, we weren't really sure completely what was responsible for this, but now we have a little better understanding because of some of the things that we can do in the laboratory. I think it's fairly evident that as women get older, one of the things that's happening is they simply have fewer eggs. It seems as if all the eggs are present in the ovaries of a woman at birth. And by the time that they reach their first menstrual period, they've lost about 90% of them. So initially they may be born with one to two million eggs, but by age 12 or 13, they only have one to 200,000. From then on, during their reproductive lifespan, a woman loses a group of eggs every month until they're all gone. So therefore, the older a woman is, the fewer eggs she has remaining. The other part of the problem that we now fully appreciate is that as women get older, the percentage of eggs left in their ovaries that are genetically normal also declines, and it declines significantly in a way much worse than what we used to think. By pre-implantation genetic screening in our in vitro fertilization program, we've been able to document just exactly how much the decline in genetic normality is in eggs as women age. As you can see on this graph, when women are younger, even under 31 years of age, the percentage of genetically normal eggs, at least in our testing program, was only about 38 percent, which is a lot lower than what we initially thought. In the 30 to 31 year old age group, the percentage of genetically normal eggs that we found dropped to 30 percent. In the 35 to 37 year old group, the percentage of genetically normal eggs is only about 23 percent. As women get closer to 40, the incidence of genetic normality really starts to decline. In our 38 to 40 year old group, I think we had more 38 year olds than 40 year olds because typically we found that at 40, the incidence of genetic normality is only about 10 percent. And when you get to the 41 to 43 year old group, it's only about 5 percent. We have found pretty much that by the time women become 45 year, five years of age, there are very few, if any, genetically normal eggs present in the ovaries. Therefore, I think it's fairly clear now that the decline in fertility that we see with advancing age has to do with two factors, both a decline in the number of eggs and probably more significantly, a decline in the number of genetically normal eggs. In our practice, we take this into account when we design treatment programs based on the age of the woman. We certainly have to become a little bit more aggressive as women get older and leave off the simpler treatments that just don't have as high a rate of success as the more successful ones. The other thing that we take into account at any age is if there is a higher than normal percentage of genetically abnormal eggs than age would allow or suggest, we oftentimes have to move to the use of egg donors, even in some younger women. And therefore, the decline in the fertility rate that we see with advancing age can be adequately treated if we take all of these things into account. Thanks for listening.